Welcome back to Stitching Big Things with Hallie. I'm Hallie. Thanks so much for joining me again today. Today is Friday, April 9th, 2021. I'm sorry. I missed last week. I didn't tell you guys. I'm sorry. I forgot to the week before that Good Friday was last Friday. I hope you all had a wonderful Easter holiday and Easter season. Um, we did. We had a wonderful time. I had my two oldest children. Uh, I have a junior at Trinity University and a freshman at Baylor University who were both off and decided to come home for the long weekend. So we were busily enjoying family time. I was doing a whole ton of laundry because <laughs> they all bring their laundry. Um, and Kyle even brought a friend. So uh, that was super fun. We had a young man by the name of Daniel, who is from Malaysia, who stayed with us. Um, so that was super fun for all of us to get to know him, um, learn about uh, his home and his culture, as well as what brought him to Baylor University and how um, he's enjoying it. So um, that was super fun. We had... Um, a lot of time with the kids. Uh, Kyle's girlfriend was here as well. She goes to Baylor too, and she was home. Um, and so she was over a little bit. We got to see her. It was just good to, to hug the boys, touch them, make sure they were okay, um, and then turn around and send them on their way. So um, the other thing that we had that was super fun was we got to spend our time uh, enjoying some basketball. For those of you who don't know, uh, March Madness wrapped up last Monday. Um, and on Saturday, we got to see the final four games. So it was really fun. Uh, Baylor, um, who ended up winning the NCAA tournament, uh, they are the national champions. That's where my kids go. Uh, well, Kyle, my freshman, and Daniel and Hannah, that's where they go to school. And so it was super fun having them here and getting to watch the Final Four game. Um, if any of you watched it, there was uh, Baylor played uh, against University of Houston. So that was kind of fun because it was a kind of Texas versus Texas. And then we had East Coast um, UCLA versus Gonzaga. And if you watched or if you've heard about that, that was a great game um, with a... Uh, well, way back three point shot uh, at the last second um, to win instead of going into double overtime. So that was super exciting, really fun to watch. Um, and then uh, it was really exciting to see how, you know, the, the school was responding and they they uh, notified the kids that there would be uh, a big watch party um, in the football stadium outside on Monday night. Um, so uh, when we sent them back, they were super excited and looking forward to that. So of course, as we were watching at home, we were getting texts from them, from Hannah. She was, she's always so sweet to send me pictures. Um, hi Hannah. I know she checks in uh, occasionally. So uh, she was sending us pictures of the celebrations and the excitement of the kids in the stadium. Um, and they watched it on the big screen as they won the national championship. So it was super, super fun. Um, and just so you guys know, I won the pool this year. We don't have a pool. We don't have any money on it. But we do make brackets. And I won. Ha, 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 Kyle. I won. So um, Hannah won last year, which I don't mind sharing the um, spotlight with her. Uh, her, uh, her and I were first and second this year. And then Kyle was third. And I think all we care about is that we beat Kyle. So each other is no big deal, but Kyle we like to beat. So, okay, enough about basketball, but um, it was a fun time. So that's why I wasn't here last weekend. So last week, so sorry, but I've got a lot to show this week to make up for it. So let's get into that. First thing I showed you guys last week, I was working on Holly Jolly, which is a Shannon Christine design. And it was fairly close to being finished, and I did complete it. So, super fun. These were offered as a, kind of a monthly series that she offered through fa her Facebook group. Um, probably starting mid-summer, end of summer last year. Um, and every month you got two um, 
ornaments and then you got a, a third bonus ornament so um they were super fun there was just uh, four or five months of worth of those but i did get a lot of those started because i did want to use those for um, ornaments for my tree um, and th they're going to be big ornaments i could have done them one over one i did them two over one this is just um probably 28 count um even weave and i did them two over two so um, they're gonna they're big they're gonna make a big ornament but that's okay i have big trees and when you do something like this you want this to like like take note i like it to take note um i have a lot of handmade ornaments and i have one tree that i kind of dedicate most of the handmade ornaments to that my sister and people have made sent to me and so um, that will go on there so i will get that finished up before christmas um so that was one of my two finishes i know two finishes i can't wait to show you guys okay but that was march so i was still back in march it seems so long ago back in march i was still working on march's bookshelf this um i was using this for rebecca for, for the full coverage fanatics bookshelves i had one book left rebecca this mini santa nutcracker from artisy um was what i had assigned to that particular book that book had i'm looking at my notes so if i'm looking down don't don't worry i'm just keeping lots of notes for this one 4160 stitches was what was required and i still had a good number of stitches to do and i was able let me pull out my threads i was able to get that done on this piece so places that I worked I continued to fill in more of the red I started to get this more solid color red uh, put in there'll be a lot more of that in through here um, but I like that kind of dense stitching you get quick numbers um, this is a this one is in pattern keeper it's a pretty quick stitch being that it's a mini it goes pretty darn fast I am pretty well done from kind of you can kind of see the top of his fur uh, hat there and up is completed. I did get all the little random spots put in around the snowflakes as well as all the little holes filled in up at the top. So from here down is it was white in his hair that's needed. Um, there's a bunch of white stitches in here. This is going to be all this dark color down in through to here. Um, this will be a lot more white added in and then a lot more red. So I'm not too terribly far. I will get this finished this year. Um, and this is um, one of the three focus pieces that I had. I did complete Bird of Paradise, probably January, end of January, early February, somewhere around there. That was one of my focus pieces. It was a non-full coverage, but it was a focus piece. Um, mistletoe, which you'll see in a minute, was a focus piece and this one were focus pieces for me this year to complete. This is stitched on, I think it's 20 count, 18 count, 18 count easy grid fabric, two over two. So it was still the end of the month. I had a few more days left to stitch in the month and I had all my monthly requirements uh, finished. Oh, while I'm talking about months, March's, well, let me show you this first and then I'll talk about March numbers. What was I wanted to stitch on after that? This was what called to me. Firework Lane by Little Stitch Girl. Here is where I am. Now, if you look at this, you might be a bit confused because you can see I don't have the houses in the right place or order. I have switched. I have switched the blue and the white. I wanted red, white, and blue. So that's, I still have the red one to do. It'll be over here. I have not gotten that far yet. So I started with the white because I knew I wanted that one in the middle. I have not filled in um, his accent color nor his door. Uh, it was supposed to be white, but if you look at here, I mean, it's white. I'm like, surely we could get something. Like I think I might do this blue might be the accent color, maybe with a red door. I don't know. 
I will get to that. And I haven't finished this door either. But last time I had the, the house in, I did finish the white accent this time. Got the fence in, the dog in, the uh, beautiful flag in, as well as the fireworks. I do have some silver fireworks that will be petite treasure braid. Those will probably go in last. Uh, but next time when I come, I'll finish working on the grass and we'll probably go ahead and start the red and then figure out door colors, accent colors, and then get my petite treasure braid added in. So this one is looking at a finish fairly quickly as well. So this one is stitched on 32 count. It was a blue that I had in my stash, um, but I think it's lovely. I think it works really well. So two over two um, on that. The majority, not all of them, but a good number of these are uh, classic color works, um, variegated flosses. So that was fun to work on after all of that full coverage. So. For those of you who care about March numbers, I have learned to love them now that I have been keeping numbers for, this is my second year of keeping track of my daily stitches and, and monthly stitches and kind of, you know, looking for trends and things like that. So full coverage stitches. I had 16,747 full coverage stitches in the month of March. I had 6,206 non-full coverage stitches in the month of March, and that gives me 22,953 uh, stitches for the month of March. For the month of March, that is my highest number so far this year. I think I had about 19,000 in January. February was low, 15,000. I. I uh, there were some days I didn't stitch in February, but March, I think maybe I had one day that I didn't stitch. So uh, it was it was a pretty good stitchy month. So pretty good numbers um, for that. So that wrapped up March. Uh, April started. So the Full Coverage Fanatics bookshelves started again. I had more of those that I could work on. And I could also continue to work on the 21 and 21. But I also had another thing that came up at the end of April, uh, which I will talk about more after it happens. I have had the opportunity to attend a cross stitching retreat. I'm super excited. I, um, I think they have a good plan to keep us all safe. I've been fully vaccinated. Um, and so I'm excited to go. Um, so as part of the retreats uh, events, they are going to do a smalls exchange. I only had Christmas smalls in my no new starts because I didn't know I was going to do this last year. This opportunity's come up since uh, the new year. And so the more I thought about it, I, I intended to have no new starts at all. Like I don't even feel the need to start anything, particularly for me of you know, something I want. I've got enough. I'm, I'm happy with my stitching. But I didn't really feel like it was appropriate for a smalls exchange. So I decided to start, use the one new free start that I get for the no new starts and start something that I will use as an exchange piece. I don't, it would not let me print a picture. So I'm going to show you my picture, the cover picture um, on my iPad. This is uh, Helianthus from Ink Circles. And I just thought that was absolutely gorgeous. That that sweet little sunflower, um, I didn't want to do anything springy. Um, and when this, uh, I saw this, I thought this is summery and this is great for the end of April going into uh, May here in Texas. So, that's what I decided to do. I had, I found some fabric. I had, it was classic color works. Um, I had all of the color, all of the floss, but one, because you know, I'm in the classic color works groups. And so I had all of the flosses except one. And so here is how far I got. It has been a very, very, very quick stitch. This is Helianthus. 
I have everything completed except for the one. Um, there's a little uh, like leaf piece in here and it is called, it's called for uh, Classic Colorworks Avocado. That's the one piece I'm missing. So I'm going, I think what I have decided to do is I'm going to, they give you the DMC conversion. I'm going to find that DMC conversion so I know what color I'm looking for. And then I'm going to go through my stash and find a Classic Colorworks that's relatively close and will work with these other um, variegated flosses. So super excited about that. I did leave these little holes. Um, they were supposed to be purple if you look at the the cover image. I thought I might make them little black beads because I thought they're kind of like little seeds in the middle of the sunflower. So um, we'll see. I haven't decided 100% um, and I got to figure out how I'm going to finish it. I am not a sewer, so I'm not going to make a pillow. Um, I don't know if I'll do a flat fold or if I'll uh, maybe put it in a little frame. Um, I don't know. I'm going to figure that out in the next couple weeks. But I am super excited about that. That is the reason I started. I did the no, the one no new start, the one start for the no new starts group, and it's for somebody else. So I'm super excited. Um, it was fun to do, um, but it was just really fun to think about the person who's gonna get it. I don't know who it'll be, but it'll. As I was stitching it, that's what I was thinking was you know make this look really nice because the person who receives it, um, I want them to be pleased with it. So, so that was something new and unexpected that cropped up. Then, because it was April, I, April's, I told you the, the uh, Full Coverage Fanatics Bookshelf Challenge kicked off again. And for The Secret Garden, I finished Mistletoe. You guys have seen this coming along, coming along, coming along. And if you happened to to follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that I finished this on the 6th. So I love it. Uh, this is stitched on, I think it's a 20 count. I wanna say 20 count, 20 count, 20 count I think. 18 count, 20 count, something like that. Two over two, um, it's good size. Um, you could definitely do this one over one and make it much smaller. Um, if you wanted to, but I liked it big. Um, I wanted to use it to decorate for Christmas. Um, so I was super happy with the way that came out. This is just a mushroom fabric that I had in my stash um, that I wanted to use up and I thought it was really pretty. Uh, I thought it would be pretty as I stitched along that those colors would go well with that mushroom color. So super happy with the way this came out and you will get that taken care of. Uh, that, I was not able to finish the secret garden um, with how many I had left. I think I had 298 stitches left um, when I finished that project. So I quick grabbed Cookie Fairy and added in um, those 298, it's almost 300 stitches. You, know, you can hardly see, I fin filled in this block some more with some more um, there were some grays that it called for. So this is my 21 and 21, my 21,000 in 2021 piece that I'm using. Um, so I will continue to add more stitches. Just so you guys know, I have kind of tried different approaches for this particular project. Um, currently I am working in this strip right here, trying to get completion before I move over to the next strip. Um, when I was up here, I did parking and changing my, my thread one, 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 you know, every time you made a stitch, you're changing, you were changing your needle and your thread. And I went all the way to the other side. I'm like, okay, I want as big as I can get. And I want to be able to like work a lot of colors. So then I went that way <laughs> and then I'm like, okay, I need to, you know, this is fine, but it takes forever to see any progression. So I'm like, let's work, let's focus in a smaller area. I don't need to park. I can just color complete in that small area. So that's what I'm working on. So you will con continue to see this as it progresses throughout the year. So that's all the stitching that I had. Um, 
quite a lot for two weeks. Um, it's it's been a been a good good week, good couple weeks. I did get a couple things in the mail, so I'll show you these real quick if you've stuck with us this far. Hang in there, guys. We're almost done. Uh, you guys know I get this floss frenzy that it comes from the Fat Quarter Shop. There are two two that I receive. I get the Weeks Dye Works and the Classic Color Works. This one happens to be the Weeks Dye Works. Let me hold it so you can see exactly the color names that are in this group. This one is called Clover Green. They kind of give it a little name. This one's Clover Green. Let me try and stretch these out so you can get a good look. I'm not gonna go through them individually. But there we go. Get over there. So you can get a pretty good idea. Get that one to come out here. Come on out to play. Let's see who you are. So you can get a pretty good idea um, of the colors. So, and maybe one of these will actually work. I think some of these lighter ones might actually work for that avocado, but I will get that figured out and we will get that added in this week. So there's that. I do know Fat Quarter Shop, at least last time I looked, was still offering those. I think they do have a couple other floss clubs, maybe even some silk. So uh, if you're interested in floss clubs at all, I do know they are still, uh, potentially taking signups. So go to their website and you can get their information. You guys know I love gear on toting bags. This is my April bag of the month. It came right before Easter and it could not be any sweeter. Look at those bunnies, look at the bird, all those daisies and those sweet, sweet Easter eggs. I just love this one. Love, love, love this one. So uh, super nice. I get the 12 by 18 size that holds all of my big projects. Um, you know, this, this, I don't know what, 11 by 17 maybe. Um, you can stick this down in there along with the flosses. So uh, that's why I like the little bigger bags. Inside on this particular one is sweet Easter eggs. So that is super nice. Um, so I appreciate that one. So I know they are still on a wait list. If you wanna do the bag of the month, they have a 12 by 13 and a 12 by 18. Um, and if you're just interested in trying, I know um, I heard from Ronnie and Gary that they, this Saturday at 2 p.m., they will be opening um, a bag sale on Garon Stitchery. So they do that once a month. They uh, make up a bunch of different bags with a bunch of different themes, and you can go on their website and um, purchase one of their bags. I know on Friday, they open it up. I don't know what time on Friday, so that's today. If you see this, run over and look and see what bags they're gonna have available. Um, it says zero for quantity, and then at two o'clock, they uh, take all those down and put them up and put the quantity that are available and then you can purchase them. So if you forget at two o'clock or if you see this after two o'clock on Saturday, don't hesitate on Sunday, even as late as Monday. I have bought bags that I thought were gonna be gone and I just checked in and I'm like, oh my gosh, and, and I, purchase bags so they still you know certainly and of course if you like the 12 by 18 those seem to not sell as fast as the 12 by 13 i think those are a little more popular that's great i love a bigger bag they also have grime guards in there that that a lot of times match as well as the notions bag so if you're looking for a great gift for somebody you can do a set um that's always something that's fun as well so don't hesitate to um, run over to their website uh, and check that out even if it's after two o'clock on Saturday. It's two o'clock Eastern time on Saturday because they're in Florida. So, um, okay, I think that pretty well does it for me this week. Plans for next week, of course, I've got two more um, books in the Full Coverage Fanatic Bookshelf. I forget the names of the books, but um, they are a fairly low stitch count um, this month. So they gave us a nice break. So I will 
get those assigned and get moving on to both of those. I'm going to continue to work Cookie Fairy for my 21,000 and 21 and maybe even push ahead a little. And then I'm going to start pulling out some non-full coverage um, and moving some of those um, projects down the road. So I have, I have a number of them that have been calling to me. So um, we're going to see a lot of those here in April as well. So, okay. Thanks everybody uh, so much for stopping by. If uh, you haven't subscribed, um, please do feel free to. Uh, I would greatly appreciate that. And um, if you want to be notified when I post a new video, you can always click the bell um, and they will give you a notification. If that's not something you're interested in, but you like the video, don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up. I know that helps to spread and, and get uh, my channel to newer viewers, the more thumbs up that we have. So I appreciate all of that. You can follow me. I also in the drop down box will be my email. Um, if you would like to email me, if you have a question or if you just want to share um, some of your work, I love that. I have some viewers who love to share their stuff and I love to see it. Um, and also my Instagram is down below as well. Um, if you would like to follow that. So Thanks so much again, guys, for checking in. I hope you all have a great week and keep stitching those big things.